African Parks is a non-profit conservation organization and we partner uh, with governments and local communities to basically take on the restoration of protected areas that have not had the resources in the past to be able to adequately manage them. We manage 15 parks in nine countries, uh, currently representing seven of the African biomes. Garumba is one of our larger operations in the African parks portfolio. It's on the northeastern side of the DRC, bordering with Sudan. Due to the conflict in the area, we now work in a place where, where large groups of rebels enter the park, and obviously high value species like elephant are a source of income for them and they might be persecuted. So that's the, our job is to make sure that in this area, we can try and keep it free of, of these groups of rebels that move through and, and are likely to poach elephant. In Garumba National Park, um, ArcGIS Pro is the main tool in which the people inside the control room, which is operated 24 hours a day, interact with the data, visualize the data and make decisions. For example, identifying fires from, from NASA's satellite imagery might give you an idea for where people are moving through the area where they light fires or you know, a fence sensor that might tell you that the fence voltage is down in this part of the park or a fence has been cut and someone might have entered the park through the fence. Since 2016, we've been able to reduce elephant poaching by over 90%. The Garamba operation is different from our other park. Not everyone operates at the size that Garamba does. So we have a different suite of software in all different parks. And through these customizable, you know, easy to understand apps and solutions that Esri provided us, we can really deploy the technology across the portfolio and customize it very quickly and make sure we have exactly the right tools in, in all the parks to really run each park as its own sort of entity equipped with its own tools to do the best possible job in that unique environment with the pressures that they face. For example, in Malawi, certain parks were you know, completely lost to cheetah, lion, and leopard. And it's up to us to now provide that space for that the animals can live safely and there's enough resources and food for them to live in. And it's up to us to reintroduce those animals, sometimes from quite far afield. We track our own assets to develop a picture for what's going on inside the park and then that allows us to effectively command the domain. Our role is to make sure we can adequately protect these areas to make sure that in 100, 200 years time, you know, that there are these beautiful and intact African landscapes. Mm -hmm.